Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the smartest dumb people, and I am the host, Anthony That Dude Johnson. And I got the crew with me today. LV the Great, Ron in the building. We got a lot to talk about, y'all. But before we start, how, how was your week, my man? LV the Great. Uh, it was all right. It was okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing special? Nah, nothing, 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 nothing. What about you, Ron? All work, no play, Groundhog Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, your little business venture working out for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's that's rolling. Good. Yeah, it's just slowly with you. Yeah, that's good. That's everything, good, bro. Everything. All right, so uh, before we get started, yeah, this is the smartest dumb people. We got a lot to talk about today, y'all. Freestyle Friday. Uh, no rush. Make sure you like and share. We need all the fans we can get. We need all the subscribers we can get. But first, I must say, to begin the show, this show is sponsored by Chris Butler. Having trouble with your house? Having trouble finding a house? Having trouble with credit? trying to find a house make sure you contact chris butler and nebraska realty he'll take care of you all right so let's get to the show man we got a lot to talk about where my cut at i don't know man (laughs) chris has sponsored for the show all right so look (laughs) (laughs) uh, uh, chris you gotta holler at our sponsor man but uh yeah so Let's get to it, man. First topic of the day. First topic of the day. Let me see something, y'all. I'm trying to fix this. He want to get on your cut. Hey, man. We got to talk budget, man. Hey, hey. First topic of the day. Uh, uh, Pandemic sparks high in black-owned businesses. And this is the actual photo. They said that it's at its highest within the last 25 years. The pandemic sees a large surge in black-owned businesses in the last 25 years. Um, I want to say, to me personally, I feel like the pandemic is what really sparked a lot of these black businesses as well, uh, because I feel like black people was the first ones to go at their jobs. As many people that was laid off, everybody in my circle was laid off, and we were all black. And at my job, at other jobs, people around me that's, that's black. So I feel like the only thing about black people is we adapt and adjust. And we were in a situation to where we had to we had to feed our families. We had to shout out to the smartest dumb people. We had to find another business venture, and we just was tired of dealing with um, white corporate America, so to speak, because that's what happened. Um, what's your opinion on the uh, the boom in black business, LV? I think you even got a business up and running too during the pandemic. Uh, what's your opinion on uh, why is it why is it that the black business is uh, is actually booming right now? I personally feel like. Is because of the funds that was provided because of the pandemic. Mm. And so individuals were receiving at one point $1,000 a week. You know what I'm saying? That's $4,000 a month. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you had some individuals that, um, you know, they had rental assistance, even if they had rent to pay, $4,000. Is a right. lot, yeah, especially right, right. when you don't have to and work. Man, was, some people was getting them, um, them grants, them uh, uh, PPP loans. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that definitely, act, hey, if you get a big loan, so yeah, I'm start that so, right. So if you get a lump sum of money, yeah, then Something that good. provides the opportunity yeah. to start a business or to even purchase equipment that you normally would have to grind a nine to five, right, right, pay right. the bills, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Buy the food, you were do, to do yeah, that from a yeah, you just and then. And then scrape what you had yeah. just to go and say, well, uh, shit, I saved this shit for six months. Now I can go grab a printer, so to say. Right. Like, I bought a sublimation printer. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Right. And so. So you was working on building a brand for yourself. Right. And so, you know, the sublimation printer is, you know, like $500. You know what I'm saying? And so I had to save. Get that. The yeah. five, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Because I, I was, I still yeah. work during the, the yeah. motherfucking pandemic, and you know the, the equipment, you know what I'm saying? The fucking computer to run the shit was seven. Yeah. You know all what I'm night. saying? All, all, all this shit. Yeah. You, yeah, you know overnight. what I'm saying? And so but with that extra money, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like with that extra money that they was getting, right? Without having to be able to work, they had the time and the opportunity to. Chase first. their dreams, no, yeah, yeah, or or chase their right. instead the of you, instead of you pr- chasing someone else's dream and providing them with your hard labor right. for no cap for their dream. Right, I feel like it allowed for yeah. individuals yeah. to go ahead 
and get chase, a, your chase their own blueprint. joint. Get you a, definitely, if right. you start on your blueprint, definitely, because you definitely. already chase, you already had what you want to fucking yeah, do. Yeah, like, right. hypothetically yeah. speaking with the podcast situation, I always wanted to start a podcast, probably six years in the making. Uh, just, I think the, the final straw for me was... Uh, the pandemic like when i when i was uh, let go from my job i just was like man i don't feel like I, I, i'm about to chase my dreams you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, even yeah. if it was, even if it was basketball and i felt like it, was, it was the perfect opportunity i had nothing but time on my hands right. you couldn't do nothing couldn't really go nowhere we was right. in lockdown right mm -hmm. perfect opportunity to find something that you're good at and work on what you're good at right which is me and like i said me and lb uh, we, we always had these conversations. I'm like, this should need to be televised. This should need to be recorded. And that's what we decided to do. Um, but uh, black ownership is very uh, needed. I think that we we just don't understand that we have the tools to do it on our own. So now, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just feel like as, as a culture, we we, we right. so quick to want right. to work for somebody. Or, or just have a job. We want to work to yeah. to work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But we don't know to start. We don't know to start. Nobody really know. Trust me, I didn't know how to start even this. Right. And, and I just had to Google shit. We had to look up shit. And I, I'm telling you, dog, it wasn't it wasn't easy. And it still ain't. Right. Just with right. the shit we go through now. I want to read this off. My guy B said, I ain't getting no comments. 4,000 is a lot. But keeping it in a community is the challenge we face. And multiplying it before it gets out. Right, 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 now, right, right. That's a tough one. That's, but the equipment that's needed to start your business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most likely is handled go from right. another nation. You, go you know what I'm saying? Right. From a different, com it, you're talking about like how you got the print and shit for your shit. Yeah, right, right. you know what I'm that, saying? That, that I had, I had to, man. yeah, you know, I could, Epson, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if he, I, I don't know the Jewish. I don't know what type of white they is. You know what I'm saying? Or <laughs> they even white. But you have to go out. Yeah. And so like even B, you know what I'm saying? They got a thriving uh, business. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Turkey yeah, Trap. The Turkey Trap be, right. every time they drop, they sell out. Sell out. You know what I'm saying? Right. But when they go to get their products. Products they got to go black white. Home. You can't you go. You don't know how you know. It's not. Shit. You ain't going to find no black grocery store legs. you know. Name, name one black grocery store that can get some turkey legs. You know what's at. funny is. Uh, there ain't no black grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, but, but Chris. Hey, it's all right. So Chris they got to go white. Shout yeah. out to Chris Butler. His brother had a, a, a black grocery store. I don't know if he still has it, but he had a black. Mary Food Station? Uh, the, the, no. the the spot right off of. Uh, um, um, what the fuck? Re uh, Northwest Radio Highway. No, Cubs, Cubs, Cubbies. No, the old spot that they, uh, Louis. Yeah, didn't they turn that to a black uh, own? I don't know if he, hell no, that fat white motherfucker. Is, there is shit. one black um hey, grocery store right on twenty four. That's black. Oh, uh, which one is that? Hey, right there in the neighborhood, right there across from motherfucking Skeets. Yeah, but they don't got turkey legs, so I. They what, ain't got a is the grocery store down there? Yeah, it's a grocery a store. A black right grocery there. store. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't come in the hood that often. I ain't, yeah. I ain't been in the hood yet. There you go. Yeah, I shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shit. The yeah. Black I don't shit. want bullets. I don't want. I don't want no bullets with that <laughs> bread. Like, it's black I don't want bullets with bread. It's black owned companies out here too. They ain't gotta go down the goddamn. They got 16. guns. No, I'm talking about black owned grocery store. That is. I think that is the only. They one. got guns and butter, baby. I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> They got guns and butter. Right, so, uh, <laughs> should, should, should we jump to the? Should we jump to the BT? Should we jump to the? We are for sale. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is another topic. Uh, a young lady posted a video about BT uh, being uh, owned by uh, a white community mm -hmm. and and the narrative that I they're think, trying to push. I'm I sorry. think their name was a. Uh, Fair child. She said in the shit. Okay. All right. So that's what we're gonna watch the whole thing. No, we're gonna watch okay, like two okay, minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Black people. These are the owners of BET. So none of us should be shocked about the condition that black music is in. Degrading our women and rapping about violence is the number one thing to do in our culture today, and it's only gotten worse over the years. So how do we go from black owned music that was soulful, that was uplifting, that was reflecting the heart and soul of our community in a positive way? To this, to this, it's the same thing that destroyed the rest of our community, integration. Like I 
said before, everything used to be black owned. Our hair products, our clothing, and yes, our music. As we know, Motown Records was founded by Barry Gordon and it was one of the most successful black owned businesses and influential independent record companies in American history. But just like almost all other black owned music companies, Barry Gordon sold his company to non-black people. And as we can see, if we're not the owners of anything we do, we can't control it. Other people are controlling the narrative for us. All right, so shout out to LV, man. LV been saying for years that um, we don't have no code. Not for years. Probably since the show started, but he said it outside of the show that we don't have no code. He's always been saying it. And this is a prime example of what she was trying to say. She's saying that how can you expect somebody that don't, that's not from black culture just because they own a, a piece of what black culture stands for, which is BET, Black Entertainment right, Television, right. and expect them to uh, carry on the positive uh, uh, narrative. Yeah. So let's let's be honest. Remember BET used to have the, the, the Sundays where all they do is play church music and shit like that. Yeah, do they yeah, still yeah. do that? I mean, they, I no, don't hell really no. Know. They had a whole bunch of shit. Now all they I do mean, is play fucking Martin Lawrence and Fresh Prince all day. Right. And guess what? There's so many commercials. I turned from BET, man. They, hey, they play five minutes of the show and 30 minutes of commercials. You know why? Because they're, they're, that's their they're sponsorship. Yeah. 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 They had Comic View. You, they was breaking black comics. You know what I'm saying? I don't. From, they don't have comic view anymore. Bro. No, they don't have it no yeah. more. But they did have it. Man, I swear you know what I I'm saying? All about the but, Benjamins today. Man. Yeah. On man, BET, it was so on BET. It was so many commercials. And watered it, down. Uh, watered out. It watered down. You couldn't even watch it. I'm like, this so, is. So I gotta. I gotta have to turn it. Yeah. So now the next question is: Is that okay? This man Bob Johnson built it from the ground up, right? Yeah. Grind, okay. Somebody came and said, "Hey, I want to buy that from you for three billion dollars." Yeah. Is he supposed to say, "Hmm, no, we need no, these"? No, no. Uh, no, you know why he's supposed to say no? Because no, that, he did say no for a, a, a lot of years. I'm, I'm telling. Well, you he for, sold it in two thousand and one. I, I, they probably was on his neck since you know he till he built that bag all the way up, and, yeah. and that was his cost that he wanted to sell it at. But of course they wanted. But to get what that about his hand. kids? Well, what about his kids' generational wealth? Just because when you get three three billion dollars, you're not just gonna sit on yeah. three billion dollars. You're gonna start another project, build another so project. What is it? I think he bought the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, I think he, he did, went he in. Did. I think he went With in Michael on that. Jordan. But okay, so let me say this though. So when he sold that fucking station, he should have fucking. You can't call it BET no more. Yeah. Now, I agree. It, cause, I cause, agree. Because motherfuckers are tuning in to well, that's like, that B and T. But that's like so, but that's like somebody trying to buy this, and we decide to sell it. If, if somebody offered me three billion dollars, I won't give a fuck what stipulations they put on it. Yeah, because you, you don't care no more. You just let it go. Because because uh, he stayed on the board, for, I think for like three, four, five years after selling it. But somebody offered me three billion dollars for something that I built. That I built. Yeah. From the ground up, you can have that, sir. Do what you want with it. You know it. what I'm saying? You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. So you so know. now we're for you you but you're the one that says we have no code. Yeah. There's no code. But but you're, when I'm you're, talking you're, to, when I'm talking about code, I'm talking about that the low level even from the lowest level of let he made a business deal. He's not just letting uh other nations come in. Act black, talk black, give up the secrets. You just heard him up, say how BET is watered down. That's them. Who gives a that's shit? That's them taking it's over our white code. people. That's them yeah. taking over our code. Yeah. Though. It is. You ain't it? That's what? them taking so over our code. So he should believe in invisible black people. Invisible black people. You just said this black man said he watched the show today. Okay. A movie okay. that was watered down. Okay. Due to white culture being uh, taken over that. Taking over. A for TV station? Yeah, but you got like I said, when you say we have no code, everything's I'm, for sale, niggas is the, like I'm saying, you gotta say that. Fuck the amount of money. So he's admitting, not to call you out, bro, but you're admitting that uh, a certain amount of money, you would do the same thing. No, so everything the, the is thing for sale. Is, so the thing is, is that a business is for sale. Yeah. A business is not a culture. You know what I'm saying? There's different well, between. BET is a culture. BET was it? It was. There was, was a culture. culture. It was a culture. Was so culture. was it a culture when they were playing uncut? 
Hell yeah, that was the best fucking oh, show. Shit. Now hold on, so a, uncut video where they got a, motherfuckers naked, putting putting cars down that was, bitches' that, asses. That was like, but listen, that was like it no. Was our un, time. Un, that but, was our time. But listen, uncut was our version of porn. It was after was hours. No it was porn. played from two. Our it version was, of porn as a child, as, as a teenager. Yes. That was poor to a teenager. Oh, well, I wasn't. I was grown. Shit. Well, y'all forgot you yeah, shit because I was, I was a porn. teenager watching Uncut. Right. But I'm saying Uncut was played at two o'clock in the morning to right, three. Right. Yeah, yeah. Why so, no kids yeah, supposed to yeah. be watching that? Yeah, ain't no kids watching that's that. That's this adult time. Yeah. I had fun at and, adult and, time. And that's and that's real life manageable how you should do shit yeah. like that. That's like motherfuckers. Nigga, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this X rated. Whatever. It ain't even X rated. But this late night shit. Is at two in the morning. All right, yeah. so let me read a couple of these comments real quick. Jimmy said, "If we supported independent artists more, this wouldn't be an issue." And then, wow. Brand, and then Brandy That's said, "How BET got to where it's at?" And then Brandy said, uh, "They want they want just enough blacks to stay in tune to get this money, get his money." I don't even watch BT anymore. I don't think nobody do. Man, I just shit. have to be scrolling. Man, I, say all about I don't, I don't watch BT. I watch, I watch you got cable. Is that because you got cable? <laughs> BT you know is cable. <laughs> the fuck and it is. watch Martin, see how many commercials you see. No, I know what you're talking about. And so, I DVR that shit, so I know what you're talking about, though. So you can just skip right past that. And so my shit. thing is, is that when I say that there's, there's no longer that we no longer have a code. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about business. That's the same way. If I built but a, it's a business, black entertainment television, you gotta understand. It's not. It's not Leland's T-shirts. It's not that. This is for the culture. It's. It has the art. No, no. It has. It has our. You build a business to sell that bitch. If you if you build it that bitch, you don't get build, you build that bitch. Yeah. You don't build, of the fact. But we gotta keep it. We gotta keep this in line. BET is a it culture. Just, it just happened. Why are you saying it's a yeah. culture? It's literally that was it's his that, brand. That it was, was his black brand. movies. Let me tell you what it was. It was black owned, black movies, black music. Okay, so black, uh, okay, so we got a question. I have a question. Okay, since he did sell it, and not only did he sell it, he sold it to Caucasians. Okay, Who so was, well, ain't nobody else gonna pay him three billion. Did, did he did. became the first black billionaire when he sold that. Not to cut you off, go. Listen, Whoa, listen, no, listen, 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 listen. So why the Thanks fuck? Wait, so, so he Thanks got the, he got the blueprint. So why the fuck would he come out with another fucking line and do the same thing and really support all black shit then? You're right. Yeah. Okay, it's, yeah, you sold that. Now start on the lower level. Start with the lower A. Hey, start with the same channel on the same lower level and build the bitch back up the same way and do that for another building. Right, and so, do that for another building. So, so shout out to Mrs. Carpenter. She said, uh, I haven't watched BET since Video Soul, Rap City, and T Summit ended. Damn, um, who who said that? Uh, your your homegirl, Miss Carpenter. But that shit built up. But how? Hey, that shit built up. Hey. You don't see it? I see it, but how old is she? I don't know. She's, she's, she's <laughs> how old is she? Team hey, Summit. I don't, give, I, I don't care about her. I agree with her. That's, that's the... I hey, the, thing, the thing is, once you sold that bitch for a billion, put hey, put that same motherfucking energy into another station and do what the fuck you did to build that one up. That's the, that's the part of being a and then, business. And then oh guess what? My God. Then you rival. It cut. No, we didn't have motherfucking Alicia in the background this whole goddamn time. Then you rival. Man, that motherfucker's uh, motherfucker gonna come for us. No. And then you rivals with the next station. With mm-hmm. the same with the same station. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then all the blacks is watching your shit. So that's the same way with MTV. Yeah. Was that MTV was already white base? It doesn't. It, it, they but they had it. the they had the hardest shit. The basement was one of the hardest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MTV raps, but that yeah. was only a, a, a hour section. Okay. That was only one hour section. Okay. And that might have been on BET, bro. Nah, 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 nah. nah. No, y'all. Your no, the MTV basement rap. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Your, hey. The basement. The but basement. But your MTV raps, they did. They did have a, a segment with. Uh, Bad Five Freddy, and then t- change it over. But that shit got watered down so fast. Every, everybody that, and so that's just like I was saying no, earlier. That, uh, that's just like I was saying earlier. Now the woman is talking about white people pressing this narrative. When Two Life Crew was doing that the raunchiest music ever, and white people was coming on saying, "This is just too raunchy. You can't say this." 
This is just too raunchy. The kids can't hear this. What is this? They sued. And people was, ah, too like who they won. They beat the man at his <laughs> own game. And now, we and now, and like now that, we're though. complaining about raunchy music. Miss Carpenter says she's in her early 40s. There wasn't no jab, Miss Carpenter. You know what oh, there wasn't no jab. I don't, I don't, think, it, I don't think they, I don't think, oh, they, I guess they are. Yeah. They are now Same thing with NWA. Now, they are honored and, and revered as the pioneers of rap and they reported from the ghetto and they see and told what black people see. No, they and were they were talking shit. about gauges and pumps and jumping down, jumping, yeah, running man. down, doing Not drive by. That is a joke in your town. <laughs> It was uh, a joke in your town. Still is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. had meaning to their songs. Yeah, yeah. They had. They Who? Had, they had, they had, N.W.A. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come no. on. I'm not talking about it. Oh, it, no, dope not, man, dope man. Yeah, that's that's gangster, gangster. That had I'm meaning. Talking, hey, hold on. <laughs> I, 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 I switch it up. I see N.W.A. I see N.W.A. Yeah, here we go right oh, here. Yeah. Here you go. Know, hey, but some folks <laughs> had meaning. I'm talking about Public Enemy 911. I'm not about. I used to love Public Enemy. Talk that shit. I, public Enemy changed my Man, you are Public process. Enemy. You should have been in Public Enemy. Oh, man, I should have, man. I should have. Yeah, yeah you right but about it, that. Right, he right, said right. you should have been in Public Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> but again, these individuals, Two Life Crew, NWA, was heralded but, in our community but, as being pioneers but hold of on. something hold that on. now we are complaining about. There's nothing to complain about about that, man. We're complaining. Hey, that, that freedom of speech. If, 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 if they didn't take that shit to federal court, we would not even be having all these rap fucking... It so, wouldn't be, yeah, this, yeah. this genre would be fucking watered down. You be you wouldn't be able to fucking cuss on this song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what. But it we sounds like to cuss on here, guys. But yeah, it, but it so, sounds like so that's what we opened we up. Want. We opened up shit. We did win because we we have really have a real life freedom of speech. But yeah, and I agree with that. But it sounds like that's what we want now. We want the graphic women grinding, gyrating, talking about thotty. Yeah, uh, because wet, guess what? Because wet, guess what? That's the we time. want that That's stopped, <laughs> or did they, or the, or the poo shiesty, uh, poo shiesty get on my phone. Well, what are we even uh, seeing? What do you got? I don't even. I, ain't, I don't know what shit. The, the poo shiesty. I'm gonna kill you. I'm smoking oh, on yeah. Tuka. Uh, come get it in blood. We now we want that stopped. Now the white man is pushing whoa, some narrative. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, he just God. broke down NWA. He just broke down Public Enemy. He just broke down those NWA. Uh, about, uh, 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 man, Big Daddy K. All of these they was LL Cool J. That was just po that they was had, positive. They had, yeah. NWA was positive. No, no. Yeah, it was positive because guess what? Because they kept seeing like, the fuck police. The they kept yep. seeing police get fucking up niggas in the neighborhood. What about everybody like, knows Strawberry? Strawberry is the neighborhood hoe. But it's different. Is that was it, positive. Every, every, <laughs> every, every, every message ain't positive. Every message ain't never gonna be positive. You better take that shit. What you get from that fucking message? Mm. But the shit that they hey they talk hey. Do I you get, think it's a difference between the music made today, rap music? I'm talking about rap yeah. music Fuck and it. what rap, is rap music today? What is that? It ain't no rap music. This, yeah, is, what is, this that? is mumble rap. You think it's just mumble rap? No, I think they they be they be spitting. J that Cole shit. be spitting this oh, shit. Yeah. Some of the motherfuckers spit that shit. Janice said instead of uh, trying to stop vulgar artists, support more wholesome artists. They exist and don't. Uh, well, nobody want to hear that. So, but it's true. no. Shit, I, listen, man. my favorite artist in the whole world on the whole fucking planet is Erica Badu. You know what I'm saying, Lauren Hill. Uh, Alan Stone, people that got positive messages. Now my new dude. We talking about rap artists, right? Yeah, now. Whoa, 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 Andre three thousand, Andre three thousand. They're gonna be Out soulful, uh, motherfucking women, fucking, of course. But rap artists, yeah, I still fuck with. I fuck with Cole the long way. He ain't, he ain't. Cole too, Cole too, Cole too. But Cole too, too. Weezy, Weezy be going. No, nah, but he killed ten niggas in every song, so it's a little different. We know it's not real. Well, I'm trying to figure out how come we know that this ain't real. 
what ain't real about it. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all ready to get to the next topic? Nah, to check that hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold like on, time out. hold on, time out. This is what we know not real. That when we watch the Terminator, we know that that's not real. Mm, that's a movie. Yeah. Right? I'm talking about so then when we listen to the... Rap the, culture. The, when we listen to the audio version of, oh, of Terminator, then somehow black people get confused and delusional and start thinking these 10 murders and these 10 bodies in this rap song why you saying happen they, to be real. What, what, why, why are you saying that is not, though? I mean, I'm just saying, why are you saying that his motherfucking whatever he talking ain't real? I'm lost. Well, because... He wouldn't be able to. He wouldn't be able to rap that. He wouldn't be able. Yeah. Now, now, now. I now. I I will. I will say that there are some gangsters or street dudes that happen to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But all the rappers ain't, ain't street, street dudes. dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything ain't. But hey, it it, but, ain't, it ain't. How can you decipher that? How can you decipher that? He's rapping about it. I understand that, but <laughs> you ain't never met him. You ain't never fucking met True. him. How you gonna True. how you gonna tell me he ain't, he ain't gonna talk that shit? True. I got that bag and put that shit on your head. True. <laughs> True. I yeah. True. So the but, but yeah, when, he but, might not do it. He might but, not do it no more. But when the rappers do street shit, six nine a la. What'd you uh, say? I lost six nine. I lost six nine. Nine. Right. And so, no cap. Uh, shout out to my guy. My shout out to my guy, Anthony, that dude. I lost six nine. Facts. He, when he got caught up in some street still shit. Still making hip hop rap he music. He told. But that's not the. I, it's I, still I, making right. Hey man, music. please don't put Weezy in that category. Put, no, I'm not putting Jesus, Weezy. Jesus, no, no, I'm not. I know, not, I know. Right there. No, hold on, time out. I'm not putting Weezy. Weezy more lyrical than. No, I'm talking than about murderous. I don't give a fuck about lyrics. I'm talking about a real nigga and a, and a snitch nigga. No, 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 Wayne, no, I'm not, no I would not. Wayne never really had a chance. We've been off the Lil Wayne yeah. topic. Yeah, yeah. Man, Lil yeah, Wayne, you ain't gonna do that. Well, Wayne, it. Kate, he ain't he ain't really been street though. He was he was picked up with by a millionaire at thirteen years hey, old. She hey, said you don't, these that, kids, you don't think that nigga Wayne could have did whatever he wanted to get somebody to touch if he wanted somebody to touch. I know he could. Brent, he's he still tied to I the don't street. think Lil Wayne a street dude. I know, but he's tied to the street. Yeah, Brandy said those kids are not us twenty thirty years ago. That's all. Everything, everything. I'm not worried about Weezy or nothing either. But I hey, I'm not going to put him in them in that category. All right, so that. y'all ready to get to check daddy? Coming for the women, or you want to do the uh, people that like you? You should like them. Which one? Yeah, whatever. We'll do. We're gonna we're gonna do the people that like you. You gotta like them. Then we're gonna transition into how much time we got. We we still got a lot of time. That's it. That's a lot of time, bro. You bugging? All right, you ready to uh, do the people that like you shit? Yeah. All right, so we're going to watch a clip. This is a clip of a man explaining why you should date somebody that like you, not you liking them. Here we go. The most important lesson I've learned, mess with the chick that like you, not the one you like. The one you like, you're going to accept all kind of stuff out of it. And y'all know it's true. You're going to accept all kind of stuff, what you never accept off another chick. And it might be another chick right next door that like you and, and going to do everything and keep you right. But uh, you'd rather mess with this pretty girl over here that's giving you all kind of problems, you dig? That's how the world goes. Not just with the pip and the whole game. A lot of people have a tendency to write people they're supposed to treat right, that's loyal and dedicated. They overlook it and they treat the other people right. That mean them no good, no intentions. <laughs> All right, so basically, uh, I don't know if everybody understood that, so I'll break it down in layman's terms because that was pimping at its finest. But he was basically saying how you should date somebody that's you pursuing you because the person you pursue, you will never control like the one that you can control by well, one. I don't think it's about control. What is it about now? I think it's just about just love. Hey, hey, that motherfucker that want to fuck with you more than you want to fuck with them. It, the man, it just says That's the same. love, right? I mean, 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Break it down. No, go, go, no, go no, 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 no. Go, go ahead, ahead, sir. Go ahead. Is go this ahead, sir. subject? Is this, this no. Nah. No. I mean, because at some points throughout any relationship, one of going to be in love more than the other. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it teeter totters back and forth. And so, now for, m- now for men to prefer the one that likes them over the one that they have to chase um, is more preferable. That because the um, expectation from women are different the man, than from hey, men. The man, the, the man, hey, he want to chase something down before. He want to. Yeah, everybody want to get blood in their mouth. Uh, everybody want to get blood in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's better when you out in the field. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you chase something down and, and you that lion and you slap that motherfucker on the back of their hip and then go for their neck and, and go <laughs> and, and then go <laughs> and so and so the, the thrill of the hunt is different yeah. for the man. Yeah, Cause you know what I'm saying? When the motherfucker tell a man though, no, the first thing the man say, this woman got to be crazy. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with her? What she mean she don't the fuck she means she don't like me. <laughs> what you, you doing? Harder. You go yeah, harder. Uh, you, you go, go harder. harder. You go hard. And then when you slap that motherfucker on her hip and, and knock that motherfucker to the ground, that gazelle, that motherfucking galloping gazelle that's been getting away, when you knock the legs from up under and then go on and, and, and conquer it, it, it's a different feeling. Then the that just like. It, all, 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 all third party. Nothing, nothing. All, all, all third person. Just from visual, just watching. Nothing I personally experienced. You know what I'm saying? But when the men have women that be calling them, hitting them up, chasing them, the niggas be like, man, this it. a bugger boo. Yeah, what she want? Him. She don't want nothing. And then as soon as she stopped. Next thing you know, uh, you don't fuck with me no more. Yeah. And next thing you know, he calling the same motherfucker who was getting on his nerves and go, what's good with you? Damn, I ain't heard from you. You don't fuck with me no more. What, you didn't get you a nigga? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that because men are more territorial than women. That's facts. And men, if they chasing, it's more expensive. For us to chase, then to yeah, take, yeah, then sure. yeah, sure. it's definitely like you said. It's just the, the analogy you use. It's like uh, you got a motherfucking uh, 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 a zebra running over there, but you got a buffalo that didn't lay down. Mm-hmm. So now you got this option. I want to chase this zebra because the zebra look good tonight. But this I'm buffalo, chase him all. I got to chase him all week. <laughs> I gotta wait by the water well. I gotta wait by the watering hole. I gotta duck and hide I, I, for this zebra to come I, back. All right, so I personally feel like how it works is uh, you prefer the soft target. I don't feel like it's a soft target. I feel like <laughs> I feel like he made sense with what he was saying. Find somebody. Okay. Find somebody that's into you. Don't don't look for somebody you into. Yeah. Do you think women should do the same thing? If women did the same thing, they would be married. No problem. Give, but then it, it would always be a game. But, but it's a so, game. But listen, it will always be a game. Uh, but I say this to a lot of women. Some niggas just if an all right. So these are the rules. I'm glad you brought this up. These are the rules. If you're in a relationship and a man is chasing you, he just want to fuck. If you're in a relationship and a man respects your relationship, don't bother you, don't harass you, don't take no jabs, don't say no sneaky shit. He respects you and he's a right, great man. Right, right, but the problem is. Right, the problem is these these women think these men. Listen, if I'm if I'm messaging a girl that I know got a dude, know got a man, and I I'm just trying to fuck. Right. That's it. Right. And I, I don't want no relationship ties with you. If you do it to him, you will do it to me. So, okay, I can I can respect that. Yeah, that's but a, that's if a, if a man is laying in the cut while another man is cutting on you, he just waiting his turn. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. it. Door knock. He know. <laughs> he know. Eventually, <laughs> this man is gonna piss you off, 
and you're going to be the first one he you call as soon as you get mad at this man. Yeah, he ain't right. going to pressure you and so, say... But that's, but that's what I said, though. So you said exactly right. So so that's, you, what you're saying to me is, in a respectful way, a, a, a nigga that's pressing the issue and being like, what's up with you? And, and knowing you land next to your man... Something wrong with you, my nigga. And no, ain't nothing wrong with you. Wrong? No, 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 no. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He just has one goal in mind. And I'm telling you, I dealt with yeah, this. And so what? Yeah, yeah. And so the I man that personally. lays in wait, the spook at the door. What's his problem? He lays in wait. <laughs> but what happens when he gets the kill? He what happens when he get the kill? What happens when he get the kill? He, he goes back by the door. So and so, say. and then the woman leaves, and then the woman leaves the nigga thinking that she didn't found the respectable man that respected her situation, that respected that she had yeah. children, respected that she was married, and then once he knocks her yeah. down, he disappears. That's what I'm trying to tell, man. That's but what I'm trying to tell. by the door. <laughs> but guess what? It's, it's the hey, ghost. This all, this all revolving door, it all revolves to the friend. She that said, no. Friend. When I say, hey, you think you's a friend. Oh, I ain't getting comments what they said. She said, no. Miss Carpenter, explain. If you have, Miss Carpenter, explain now. That if friend, you Freestyle that, Friday. That LP friend, in the building. That friend from a man, then you a friend? That's the, that's where we tied this all back in. I just feel like, I feel like, uh, hypothetically it's speaking. This spook no, 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 by the door. No, let, me hey, break, yeah. let, let me break it down to hey, you. Hey. Let me, let me break homie. it down to you. I'm gonna knock her down. Oh, he, right. gonna yeah. he gonna yeah. trip. He gonna trip one time. Yeah. That's the homie. But that's yeah. the lurking ass homie. But listen, yeah. the the, the <laughs> I am I am they the lurking. That's the lurking. Go ahead. I am the gentleman <laughs> that if I'm really into a woman and I really can see myself with her, I'm not pursuing her while she got a man. No, I, not, not, you're, not, not, you're not the lurking homie then. But there's friends that lurk around like oh no you, oh we all right oh hey oh y'all there 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 oh we about to go kick it miss carpenter we here <laughs> she okay. say something she say something she said no i want miss carpenter to respond and so but you will lie you think it's respectful for a woman to be in a relationship and, and know you you're away and you just play the background no i don't i don't consider it playing the background no, no, no. so how so how i will work if I'm interested in this female and I know she got a dude, I'm not even going to tell her. I'm going to wait until she ain't in a relationship with this dude to try to pounce on her. You're the, lur you're the lurking homie then. No. You I'm are waiting. the lurking I'm, homie. I'm yeah. You are the lurking homie no. right now. Lurking homie to me is the motherfucker that's like, you know I want you. No. That's what you do. No. Uh-uh. No. No. The no. motherfucker, the lurking because, homie. Hey, like I hold, say, on, the time out. Chick, hold the on, time out. Hold on, time out. The oh, homie shit, that homie shit, that homie shit, bring that shit back, run it back. Hey, now we talking about good homies and good friendship. Hold on now. Yeah, you a good friend. I got a different, hold on now. All right, hold, on. hold on, hold on. Miss Carpenter said, if a woman is entertaining a man when she in a relationship and the relationship ends, she ain't thinking that they going to hook up after the relationship ends. They already the deal. Right, so she's the, so he's the new so he's the new boyfriend. So in the respectful but man, the carpenter. You gotta understand that man in waiting just wants to fuck. Men have goals. No, but, 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 now hold on. Now we talking about your angle. What you said that you won't say nothing and you and no 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 no. no. What she said no. Coming. What she saying is no. I'm talking about what you saying. I understand right, what she's saying. I'm not I'm just wanting to fuck. I said if if a woman if I had real aspirations to be with a woman and she has a man, I wouldn't say nothing to her. I, she wouldn't even know I liked her right. because I'm respectful enough to know this could be my wife one day or my woman one day. Right? Or you just want to fuck it one day. If I want to just fuck, I'm on her neck with her man. And her oh, man. You ain't gonna do that. That's okay. Not, yeah, that's not that. I, I would shoot myself with a problem I gotta do if I'm just trying to fuck. No, Hold on. Exactly. Alright. So now with that said, ah, that sound like you trying to catch a motherfucker vulnerable. It's like you you don't want you don't want that big gazelle. You trying to get the you trying to get the, the, the runt. The motherfucking runner the pack. 
I'm so mad that chair is squeaking so loud. I hope it don't fuck up the audio. You want the rug of the pack. I don't want that shit to... It's going to ruin the audio. Man, you got to... Hey, man, put that 40 towards some more chairs, some wooden chairs, buddy. a little bit to you. Hey, but... That shit is loud. It's going to fuck the audio. So, but... If you play in the background and you waiting for someone to become hurt and then No, not hurt. If the nigga leave, leave, you're right? saying leave. You saying leave. You're if they if they break up. Yeah, you saying She gonna be hurt. You don't think I ever, ever liked the motherfucker that had a man? And hey, you? But yeah. but I'm talking about that in the teenage days. I'm talking about like, <laughs> hey, you keeping the friendship yeah. the teenage like days that, love. Waiting on the part of a moment. That sound like the friend, that's around like the hey, the homie, like no way, Jose. She, uh, Janice said, and when he doesn't get to smash, he's gonna cry about being in the friend zone. Oh, that's you can't be my friend. You, hey, we ain't friends no more. That's fact. That's how that. And the nigga ain't gonna cry about saying. now. The nigga may, the nigga may inquire. Nobody about, wants to be in the friend zone. Yeah, a nigga may acquire like, damn, I can't get none of that shit. I, I got friends in the friend zone. I put so, fr- I so put everybody in, in the friend zone for so, you so, right now? So, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back I, up. I have friends, back, but I put in the friend you would, zone. You want to read? Are you going with that or are you going to recorrect that? I uh, have uh, women that I officially put in the friend zone and would never. That start. you could smash, though. I don't think I could smash them. I'm <laughs> or want to smash them. I don't think I could smash them. Hold on. Yeah, it's a whole Now you want to retract no that? No, I said exactly the way I wanted to say it. I have so you got friends right now that, that you could smash. That I would never smash. But you put them in the friend no. zone. But no. they want. But they don't want to be in that any, zone. Any woman that I consider like my sister, she is. I have a question for you. This is just now. <laughs> this is the last question of all questions. What if they gave you the ass? Would you knock it down? Hey, oh no, it's getting no. dark. It's getting the spotlight. The spotlight no, getting man. dark in oh, here. All right. All right, well, that's it. The spotlight getting here. No, he said no. He on the hot seat. No, the hot seat. The hot seat. The hot seat. This seat cool as fuck over here. Y'all bugging. The hot seat. Listen, I, I have women friends that I just love like sisters, and that's do the they want to smash you? I don't fucking. No, care. no, no. I don't. Would know. you? If they said, I, I if, not. if they called you Even at one thirty, if they called you at one thirty, like <laughs> I'm trying to fuck, I'm trying to fuck you, bro. And I'm like, you out your fucking mind. Okay, you my that's it. You're drunk. You're that's drunk. It. Call me when you're sober. That's the end of it. You my sister. Yeah, that's it. I never had them. I, I never. I know. I never. I never Cause you'll take it to like another that. devil. You feel like easy. You feel like you. No, you feel that I'm telling you what I'm doing. I know what he gonna do. Easy. 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 Talk about the Trick Daddy shit. All right, let me run it. Trick Daddy has a message for these women that got uh, uh, nice cars and nice clothes and nice shoes and living in apartments. This is what he had to say about women that's getting gifts and and have expectations with no standards. Here we go. You hold with you fake AP watches. If I see another bitch on social media showing an AP watch and bitch, you stay in an apartment, you don't own a house, bitch, I'm going to rob you, ho. You hoes that a nigga buy you a $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 watch and you ain't got a house, you's a dumb bitch. You bitches driving $40,000, $50,000 cars and you paying rent, not mortgages, you don't impress me. Y'all hoes better wake up because your AP watch lost value as soon as you walked out the motherfucker jewelry store. If you got a nigga willing to spend a bag on you, bitch, know it. That's less than what you could have spent on a down payment and a first time, first time homeowner program, you ignorant son of a bitch. And a lot of you hoes who act all true and, 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 and pussy and think you know everything, your pussy is not worth how you look. Sorry about the mic issues. All right, so before we go any further, for what Trick Daddy was talking about, make sure I got to give a shout out to our sponsor today, Chris Butler. Having trouble finding a house? Feel like you don't have good credit? Contact Chris. He'll take care of you. 402 713 
7026. Y'all get that PPP loan? Go run it. Go man. run it to him. Go holler at my boy. He's, a, he's, he's an he amazing realtor. He's running the game right now in, uh, in the home in something. industry. Holler at him. He'll take care of you. So, let's let's discuss this you now. Could, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. You collect a couple. You hold on to a couple of them 40s and them 50s that you be swapping out. You be able to get your head, get you into something. <laughs> the motherfucking forties, you might be able to to a couple of hundred of them forties. He get right, you so into something. Here. So, what's your opinion on what he was saying, uh, LV? Uh, unless you want me to go first, I, I I don't care. I'm just saying my opinion on what he was saying is that women living up to these standards but don't own shit. They have these standards of material. That to me, what I got from that was materialistic women. Mm-hmm. That's right, what I got from right, that. Right, right. Mm. What's your opinion, LB? My opinion is is that the man, I think we, we had this before, and this is how I just honestly feel. The man only performs as high as the bar is set. Because if he's dealing with Damn, blow. I should have. My, my nose running? No, I just went and got you. Damn, out. blow. Uh, but, 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 the man. Just take care of my. Just take care of the but, girl. But now, if the woman. She sets the bar, right? So if the woman says, well, <laughs> I want a house instead of a AP purse. Yeah. The man, if he got 50000 to buy a purse, instead of buying a purse, he'll buy the house. That's if there's that's, women walking around with five hundred dollars shoes on right now. Oh, five hundred dollars ain't shit though. Add, add two more five hundreds to that. That's fifteen hundred dollars. You can get a you can get a first home buyer's loan with that. Yeah, I, I, I'm I trying to all that. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. trying to figure out. So Janice, how 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 somebody spend their money affects our community. All right, so let me let me read a couple let me read it a couple of comments first. How uh, uh, Miss Carpenter said home ownership is home ownership is that. not for everyone. So just because a person doesn't have a house is overreaching. Uh, Janice said that's the issue. That's a huge issue in our community. Just like the guy who won the lotto and spent um, it on jewelry and got robbed. Well, that's a little. What different. the fuck are you supposed to supposed to spend on? Why how somebody else spend their money affects the community. A, we're not talking a, about the affected community. We're talking about that. What she said. We're talking about fuck. Said that. We're Jenny talking said about that. fuck getting a fucking twenty thousand dollar watch and you can get a fucking home. That's what the man. That's saying. true. Okay, fuck but that's true. Watch. So, but but, watch. go ahead. My, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. But that's so, what these rappers do, though. These rappers be buying these women uh, thirty thousand dollar chains, forty thousand dollar watches. Hey, I, let's I'm start. That in. Let's start right here. What the fuck I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm-hmm. Start at the first home homeowner buyers, motherfucking. Take these classes, y'all talking hey, just like we started from the probably my first second episode. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if somebody doing it for you. Do this first homeowners session and buy a fucking house instead of renting. And y'all talking that shit or what? Y'all were talking down on me that, that the first time. One y'all. No, when? Oh, man, when? <laughs> <laughs> when? Right. Yeah, nigga, when? I don't know. Brandon <laughs> said priorities, people. It's all right. All right. Nick all right, said uh, referring to investing in his hey, hey, now I'm done talking. Now, now to touch on what... Now, to touch on what... what I'm done now, talking. Just, just a little touch on the everything that, what Miss Carpenter was saying, because it's true. Because I have read some shit, studied some shit, and... Throughout that research, like they said, through what I studied and came to the conclusion of is that houses was just created so you can give funds to the bank. That you, if... So you don't believe in owning a home? Now... Y'all don't. I do. Y'all don't. Hold on, time out. Hold on, time out. Y'all talk down. Hold on, time out. You said it, and you said it. I never said that, sir. I'm appalled. I want to own a home. Why though? Hey, 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 hey. Why? Hey, hey, hey. What you said it to me, and you said it to me. Why keep paying on, 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 on all this shit? Mortgage. This is what y'all say. No, but you gotta understand the context of what was said. I never said you shouldn't own. You want to own a home? Yeah. Why? 
I want to own a home because I want to be able to have my own property. Because they I want to build no more land in this world. Well, it's, you it's, should own no, it's plenty. It's plenty of land. It's it plenty. ain't. It ain't. Now, own the home and own the land is two different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. own a home and you own that land. Even though the bank has the deed. After you pay it off. Okay. It's so, your shit. 30 you years. Pay, you still got to pay taxes on it. Well, but I never told you that because I do want to own a home, my own home. Because I want to be able to fucking knock down You want to own a home. So yeah, you want to. So so I, I wish hold I could on, hit so the button and say rewind. You at your age. Hold on. You at your age. Hold on. You at your age right now, you will want to go get a 15 to 30 year fixed mortgage on a home. You know why I would? Because it's going to go to my kids. How do you know that? Who else would it fucking go to? Because I, I, I because I didn't see people that my grandma owned a home, and it was and my grandma and had four. No more. You don't. Own hold on. Shout out to Rob. Rob, Rob, you should Rob own was it. in the right. same situation. You hold, on, own it. hold on. Let me finish. And, but because this is how it worked. My my grandma had four children. Okay. Yeah. It and went, so, yeah, it and so, down. and so when you didn't it came, hey, so, y'all like a share, man. When it came like down share. time to find out what they're gonna do with the home, you know what these four children decided to do? Sell it. Sell it. Yeah. But guess Sell what? it. Guess what? Because guess they what? all oh, came there. Shout what? out to shout out to Yo Yo. Yo Yo said, I gotta read off what Yo Yo said, y'all. She said, listen, real estate is some gangster shit. If you ever, uh, if ever there was gangster shit, but listen. Own a home because you can use that property to level up like a motherfucker. I agree with Yo-Yo. I feel like... Yeah, you, got, you didn't... It didn't trickle down to you. Yo, yo, grandma? Yeah, that was her kids. It didn't trickle down to you. It should have... It should have... Who did it trickle down to? Uh, if they, they sold it. They nobody sold it. They sold it. She had four children. How can they all four can't live there? Okay, so guess what? Guess what? So the four children sold Guess what? When it. you yes. get your shit... When you Her get four your, children. When you get your you shit, you put the most responsible one. And so yeah. then, so now you, now you picking and choosing favorites. Well, it ain't no favorites. What the? It's it's gonna. And then you go ahead. Not you to you, you or hey, go ahead. You buy. You get the bag. You hey, you you buy the house, and then the shit will trickle down. Don't worry about it if it, if it go to their grandkids. Yeah, yeah. We're not worried about it. You worried about your shit? Okay. If you got your kids right here, if it don't trickle down to their grandkids, you you the grandkid. You are the grandkid. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, Ron. You are the grandkid. One of the one of the real kids should have took that house and said, "This is my shit." Then, uh, Brady says, "How can the they do that? that? It's never yours." Hold on, fuck the mentality that is never yours. The fact, the plain simple matter, of the fact of is, is that once you pass. And people think that this is some generational Every, shit. Everybody is not. Everybody has to agree. Out of all of the, out, out of all those kids, it was four. You said it was four. Right. Yeah, four. Everybody has to agree to sell that house. One, if that one say I want to buy it, that's their fucking house. All right, I gotta read off what Yo Yo said because this is a. Because that's how I got my house. I gotta read this one. Story. I gotta read this off. No, no. Hold on. No. All right, let me go ahead. Read no, go I'm, ahead. I'm talking about real I'm, situation. I'm, I'm, I know. So right. Yeah. Matter. I'm just. Yo Yo said, if you pay seventeen hundred dollars a month and can't get that money back and line in someone else's pockets, that's financial suicide. Let me speak from from real life experiences. The last two homes, the last two homes that me and my kids' mom owned was fifteen hundred dollars a month. Okay, we could have probably got those home with a mortgage payment of around nine hundred dollars a month. We could have saved ourselves seven hundred dollars. Your credit that good? Um, they got to be in the seven or eight thousands, the eight hundreds. I understand, get, I understand that, but I'm percentage. saying, but I'm saying that's still uh, five to six years. I can't of, tell y'all nothing. Seven, they, go ahead. But I agree with Yo Yo. That was the point I was trying to make. Like living in a home for seventeen to fifteen hundred dollars a month, eight hundred of it is going to the landlord's pocket. That's facts. But that's the landlord. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So how much is going to the mortgage? Uh, probably hey. seven. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he doubling up every for every sure. month. For sure. Every month he's doubling up. For sure. You know, you should know that, LB. Yeah. So I'm, so if you paying seventeen thousand seventeen hundred. On your mortgage, uh, imagine if that was your only seven of uh, that seventeen hundred is going towards That's it. the mortgage. 
The rest go towards the interest. That's how this works. So that's why. Right, that's so why. So that's why a motherfucker house for rent owned by a uh, uh, private. We owner. talking about you paying the bank, not a fucking motherfucker that's owning yeah, the, the house bank. The that bank. you that you rent it from. Yeah, the bank. Okay. So that's why a motherfucker can go. Explain to me this. Why can somebody go get an eighty thousand dollar car? And pay it off in five years. You're right. And go get an eighty thousand dollar house, and it take thirty years. Why is that? But listen here, it, it it's different strokes for different folks. <laughs> <laughs> how, I'll wait for your how, I'm asking y'all. It, 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 I don't it's know. Different strokes for <laughs> different folks. Yes, sir. That was in your family already. You're not gonna pay that much. You have to pay that whatever the family settle on. This is this is from me to you to everybody. All right, so shout out, to, shout out to shout out to uh, right, shout out to hold on, hold on, hold on, shout out to Mrs. Shout out to Mrs. You trying to say something? Shout out to Mrs. Say less. Off. I know because y'all just screaming. No, no, he's not. He's trying to tell me about what's okay. going on. He's, he's trying to explain something. This, this is Mrs. Future Smith has something to say. I want to read off what she said if you don't mind. She don't need to say nothing. She said, "You keep saying fifteen years, thirty years to pay off mortgage, but paying rent." You paying for them to own theirs. Why not pay your own shit? I agree with Gina. Shout out to Gina. Uh, shout out to Miss Future Smith. I got because what she Because it's just, it's just some, it's, it, it's just something. So that's the same way a motherfucker may want to move in five years. All right. Katie said, uh, but, but it's not about here. favorites. It's about having a will and dividing assets and responsibilities even when it comes to money stocks, the, bonds, when it comes to money there is no equal but listen here when it listen comes here. to money listen here there is no equal all right i won't give go ahead Laron. go ahead sir okay okay all right go all right. ahead Laron. it's okay no go ahead sir we just all i'm saying is if any one of the brothers or sisters mm -hmm. wanted to buy that house mm -hmm. they could have Whatever the, whatever the value of that house, just pay the pay them out. They could have got a loan. They could have got a personal loan mm -hmm. if they if they had the credit. Speaking on you having three 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 sons, right? Yeah. So you having three sons and your oldest son that live with you right now, God forbid something happened to you, he, he has the right first dibs on his home. I live with Correct. my dad. Correct. Uh, yeah. Correct. There's no prime in that. And that's what he's not understanding. Well, hold on, no on. Why would why would he get first dibs? When he got two other children, because he's helping maintain that home. But guess what? His son is all, they're, they're all their home. But if he, if my oldest son don't want this house, it ain't gonna go to. He just not gonna be able to sell my house. He can't just sell this house. Okay. They can, They have an option to buy this house for for that for that number. So then they have to pay the oldest brother. Hey. No, for no, it's a home that Make they had split, oh, hey. split down and broke down. Make sure y'all contact Chris Butler at Nebraska Realty. He'll take yeah. care of you. 402 713 yeah. yeah, We got to help because they need some help. They need some help, boy. Chris, you got to break down this game. He's coming on the show real soon here to have that conversation with real, uh, Realty and breaking down like yeah. um, how this yeah. fucking housing shit works. We'll have that conversation with yeah, him when he comes. Cool. Be, um, I know motherfuckers that have been left the house that can't even pay the property taxes. I know, bro. My dad. All of this shit goes into this. So guess you know what? what I'm saying? There's so I'm, much shit to this. Exactly. That's is exactly why I have my grandma house. Mm -hmm. Because they. Oh, okay. I gotta put in my name. Okay. First, and then my uncle. He he was the only motherfucker standing in the house. So proprietor. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, okay. yeah, it was just his. He house. was the proprietor. Right. Okay. So where's so, Uncle? He's still around, but he wasn't <laughs> gonna fucking pay all of these. So he couldn't pay the property taxes or none of this shit or none of that. Well, shit. you pay the property taxes. You have to own the home. You have to. And, and outright, you're going to be left in this house. You no, you have life. to outright own your home. So after you own your home, you pay the property taxes once a year. You sure that's how that works? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I'm for sure that's how. I think that's how. Not, not, not no. My dad. Pay, my dad said he pays. Uh, not to give my dad, but, but he right. pays uh, uh, one portion uh, per year. He don't oh, pay yeah. rent. He don't do none of that. He pays a portion per year. It might be five thousand. Might be three thousand per but year. Yeah. So I don't own the 
I own the house, but like you say, I have to pay mortgage. Mortgage still until it's all the way paid off. Mm. But I have to pay motherfucking the motherfucking um the um the um what do you say? The property tax. Property tax. Property taxes must be paid. It, it, you can pay it all at once, or you can put, pay it similarly. Yeah, for sure. At the, but after you own your home, right? Yeah, you still have to pay them. You have after you own, because yeah, right yeah. now you're buying the home, so you don't pay property taxes now. I still pay okay, okay. fucking well, property taxes. Deep. I didn't know. So you pay property I still taxes. Pay property taxes. And still don't and own the home. I pay them property taxes. Your the home get gets still, took. Yes. Okay. You have to pay. Uh, shout out to Miss Carpenter. She said, "Teach them uh, to be financially responsible." You can't teach nobody strive. nothing. You can't teach nobody nothing. Y'all know Elvis. Guess what? Motherfuckers hey, 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 learn. Hey, hey. Motherfuckers will learn what they want to learn. You hey, know what I'm what? saying? Mean fat you mean fat, mean greasy. You don't think that shit greasy? Hey, and then that shit go. I got, a, I got something to say. Now it's time <laughs> to say goodbye. Is fat pussy to poor? All my Negro friends. Okay. Hey. Katie, fat pussy pork. <laughs> no. uh, there you go. There you go. He I didn't want to know. Hey, I didn't want to know. I want to appreciate everybody <laughs> staying here today. Uh, y'all tune in to the smartest dog people. Fat pussy pork. Uh, make sure y'all know. listen. Make sure y'all like and share. Make it's very key. Make sure y'all like and share. Uh, <laughs> We love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. This is the smartest dumb people. Anthony, that dude, Johnson. Uh, LV, the great. Love y'all. Love y'all. Y'all have a great night.